Hey guys, it's Bano, and welcome to a new LP that I'm doing. Um, that was a f f really File select. odd recording session I had. We're playing Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, um, and we're playing the Steam version, which you may notice by the A and the B buttons, which I'm actually playing this on a gamepad for once. Um, <laughs> this game is available on Steam. I don't know the price, so but. The battle part of this is actually separate to the um, to the main game, so you can buy the main game and then you can download the battle part, which is why it says download content. Uh, the battle features in this uh, game, by the way, everything they added in the battle game is part of the battle thing, which is really weird when you see in the options sections that are like, nope, you have to have beaten. You have to have bought battle, and people were like, Sega, why? When really, technically, the game already did that. Anyway, now, if any of you guys, just before I start the LP, if any of you guys have seen me ever uh, LP uh, Sonic Adventure 1, uh, you may notice that I had played through, like, every single mission and stuff. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm actually just going to stick to the story mode, uh, because honestly, the missions aren't as definite this time, and in fact, they'll be very awkward to watch. So, I think just for this LP, I'll just play the story. Uh, the other thing is that also, that since there's two stories, I'm actually going to do a little bit of fancy editing, and I'm going to splice every single stage so that the entire thing plays out in chronological order. I'll give you the big heads up whenever I am switching stories. Um, but other than that, I guess we'll start off. Uh, chronologically, the dark story starts first, so let's go into that. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Security, Security breach at gate 3. Intruder Security? is located in the north quadrant and is moving in the direction of the underground base. Which direction is that? Prepare to engage. Emergency battle formations. Actually, I already realized that there's not that many units. Oh my gosh, look at that stock footage. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. <laughs> that was all too Let's take a look at what my grandmother was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they feared it. What? <laughs> okay. So anyway, so we're gonna start off with the dark story with stage one, Iron Gate. And yes, we get we are playing as Eggman. Uh so yeah, so what you do is you can start holding down the B button. And now I'll fire the home mixer. Pressing the B will just fire a little dot, as you can see. That's just a sand shot. But holding it allows you to use your laser to point at icons. And that'll allow you to shoot things. Uh, other than that, A jumps, and that's about it, actually, I think. Um, now, you may be wondering, so what exactly is this game? If, by the way, you may be wondering, what's that blue chest? That goes to the Chow Garden. I will never want to do that, ever. Uh, it's a very nice little bonus area that is like... You get to raise a little pet, but it's not the most interesting thing to do while you're LPing, isn't it? Um, so yeah, so you may be wondering, you're playing a Sonic game and you're starting off with Eggman. What if I told you the next three levels aren't even Eggman? I'm serious, the... The, um... Chronological order-wise, Eggman starts first, and then a new character to the series. Uh, I may as well not spoil it. It's uh, Rouge the Bat, everyone's favorite. Yeah. Um, she has her first level, which takes place chronologically. Technically, Knuckles' level takes place at the same time, but I don't know. And then uh, the, new, the other new character, Shadow, gets a level. Like, Sonic doesn't even get a level until, like, 5 in, chronologically. However, most people playing this game would be playing the hero story first. I would probably guarantee. However, the story makes more sense if you play the dark story first, because you'd understand the motives and the and the backstory, really. Considering the hero story, more or so gets dropped in. Other than that, though, you may be wondering, so what's different between this game and Sonic Adventure 1? Well, first of all, this entire section is completely redone. May I just say, there's only three different play styles. The hero story and the dark story both have pretty much the same characters, just... Or the, the different characters, but they all play the same. Um, so Eggman and Tails have big robots. 
and they basically play like this. Knuckles and Rouge will play like they did in Sonic Adventure 1, where you look around for Chaos Emeralds. Unfortunately, you can't look at them in order. Oh, I mean, sorry, you can't just find the Emeralds, you have to find them in order in this game. I'll, I'll talk about that more as you go along. And then you got Sonic and Shadow stages. Um, now, in the LP, I said that I preferred this game over the original. And I will stand by that. There's a lot more polish in this game. The first game was rough as heck. There were so many weird nubbins to it. Like, there was just cutscenes went too long. Lip syncing was so weird. This game felt a lot purer and a lot more, hey, speedy Sonic, Sonic, Sonic. But, to be honest, a lot of the level design and, in fact, a lot of the concepts are pretty... Yeah. You know what I mean? Um... Like, this game is far from perfect, but I think a lot of people still like this game. Um... I haven't really been explaining what's been going on on this level. Basically, that's the first level. So if you called that, good on you. Uh, I'm just gonna cut after every mission, just so I can give myself a bit of room to talk. So yeah, anyway, we'll see you guys in the next level. <laughs> Piece of cake. Yeah! And also, after every level, you get a medal. That's a very nice texture you've got there. Crushing hazard. You think Eggman could just walk or float? So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Well, you know, nuclear bombs don't really need to be that big. Enter. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Okay, your top secret research facility has a five-letter password. You may want to think this over. And this th this game came out in 2001. You think they would have known by now? A lot of people were hacking on the internet in 2001. We had games like Serious Sam and stuff. Like, in fact, you know, we had games like this. Um, I may as well just talk really minorly. This game had not been re-released ever since Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube in 2002. Or 2001, actually. No, 2002. Ah, Sonic! Are you trying to spoil my Here's the running theme of the game. Also, I love that on the roof. My name is Shadow. Since you were Shadow, so Shadow. To release me, my master, I actually do like his shadow on the roof, despite the fact that it clearly wish. isn't him. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. I'm floating in the cutscene, but that'll never happen during the game. This is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. Yes, it literally just posted everything that's that's weak about this guy. So anyway, this is how you fight this boss. Not like that. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to grab a ring, because you're smart. You're supposed to jump on a box. And you gotta hit him. I swear I hit him. Well. First death this of the series. Yeah. Hot shot. More like cold shot. No. Well, of course I, I, I aimed there. I, I dashed towards it. So anyway, Shadow plays just like Sonic. A Sonic game and you play as a different character. Actually, considering this game, you can actively choose not to play as Sonic. Yeah, stuff, stuff you're targeting. Yeah, you gotta jump on a box and let it hit him, but hey. If you can do, like, really... Oh, snap. Ow, that hurt. I just won and lost. I just won and lost. Well, this is great. I'm having so much... I... You can't attack it when it's airborne. I demonstrated that a couple of times already. So look at it. Airborne. I attacked it. Oh my goodness. Ah, 
Ah, you broke my box. You broke my box. Stop breaking the boxes. So anyway, yeah, so this boss is weird and finicky as heck. Oh, so now I beat him. whoop to do Pathetic humans. Pathetic humans. I've been locked up for so long that I can say that. Destroying that guard robot was spectacular. It was, actually. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. Yeah, I guess what so. What did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Okay, well, you know, Razor Jin. Bring Jin. more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! Well, basically, that's... I'll be waiting for you. That's it. In the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark. Let me just say, Shadow is, like, an awesome character. We're above the capital! Love it. Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're on route. Uh, I see what they did there. Sigma Alpha 2. SA2. Report cargo status. Yeah, I see what you did there. Over. That's a 10 4. Cargo secured on board and. What? Nick Carpenter is gone. He's taking out everyone aboard and. What's wrong? What is a he, 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 he's taking out everyone aboard despite the fact that you don't see anyone. Freeze. What do you think you're doing? Get that hedgehog. Talk about low-budget flights, no food or movies, I'm out of here. I like running better. Goodbye, uh, handcuffs. I mean, the handcuffs are gone. Oh, no, they're still there. Yeah! They're gone on a level, but eh, never mind. And that is how you start a level, by the way. In fact, considering most people would see that first off, they'd just be like, this game is awesome. Oh yeah! So yeah, so this is the first Sonic stage, and it starts off with a bit that you'll never have. Uh, it starts off with a bit that you'll never see anywhere else in the game. Grinding! Although, technically, yeah. I guess that's another reason why everyone loves this stage. This stage is in Generations. Also, by the way, the first time you play this stage, you will not be able to do this stuff. You just gotta like know the stage, like back to back to four. Like for example, I'm gonna go this way. So I don't have to. Nah. And also, because the song is awesome! Because everyone remembers City Escape. Like, everyone loves City Escape. And I think that is why I think this game is stronger than Sonic Adventure 1. Because it has the most awesome opening. Do it that many. If you get all the combos nice, then you get to basically just do everything. Danger is looking around every turn. Trust your feelings, got to live and learn. Ah! Whoa! Okay, that was convenient. Away we go! I know there's like secrets everywhere in this level. This level is very nice. It's great for a starting stage because it leads you into everything while still feeling awesome. Like seriously, who didn't feel awesome when they did that? So these uh, swingy things, you gotta press the jump button when you see the red bar thing. Also, I'm a little bit off for the invincibility, but nah, stop it! <coughs> stop it! Ah, I thought so. I'm trying to grind this. It's a bit tough. I think the best way to grind is just to not do it while you're turning. And then the really awesome part about the stage is what happens two minutes in, when it's like, oh my gosh! Thank you, Lee. You, you can outrun the truck, basically, by doing this. The truck does get extremely close, and the fact that he's two lanes wide... Big! Uh, we 
need to chase this one blue hedgehog. Yes. So yeah. And that is how you start a game. Friggin' Eggman story. It's just like, I'm breaking into a place. Sonic is just like, yes! Escape that, Too please. Easy. Piece of cake. Anyway, I'm gonna end this part off right here. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the rest of the LP, and I'll see you kids later.